Hi guys, this is the Smart Physics tutorial. Potential energy of two spheres. Um, I'm going back in the Smart Physics homework to revise for the final. So let's go through this problem. We have two spheres here, and there is um, a non-conducting wire between them. So the first question they ask us. What is the total work done by the outside force? Okay, so they want the work done by the outside force. Well, since um, let's look at it conceptually, since we have the um, two spheres and both of them has the same charge, then the uh, when an object when or the outside force is getting um, the other sphere from infinity to to this point here. It's going to do a positive work because it's, um, what do you call it? <laughs> it's going to be the opposite um, work of the electric field. So the work by the electric field is going to be um, from infinity to R and force times dr. This is the um, the work done by the electric field. So whatever we get here, it's going to be the opposite. Okay. So this is actually for number two, and I'll leave number one when I get number two. Okay. So let's do the integration. Here the force is the Coulomb force. Q two divided by r squared. Integration the work. Alright, so doing the integ this integral will get k q1 q2 and then the 1 over r2 will be minus 1 over r. Alright, and then it's going from infinity to r or to d. Let's call this d. Okay. Alright, so So since 1 over infinity is um, 0, then we're just left with minus k, q1, q2, divided by r. Okay. So let's substitute that. You'll get a value here. And the value here will be negative. And it does make sense. Because um, the electric field, as this object is moving this way, the electric field is pointing the other way, right? And the work in general is force times distance, right? And both of them are vectors, right? So if this one's going this way, the force, and the object is moving this way, then the work will be negative, okay? So my value for this was if 8.98 times 10 to the 9 times q1 is 7 times the other 7 times 10 to the negative 12 divided by the r, the r is 0.8 meters okay alright for this guy bye um, and for this guy I got negative 0.550 Okay, so this is the work done by the electric field, okay? So then the work done by the outside force is going to be the opposite, right? Because the outside force will be pushing this way and the distance will be moving this way. Okay, that's why it's, not, it's positive because the force is being applied is in the same direction of the um, distance, right? Okay. So whatever you get here is the opposite of um, the work done by the outside force. Cool. All right. So what what is the potential energy of the two sphere system after they put them together? Um, it's going to be the same thing. The the um, the work done 
is equal to negative delta P E. Okay. Delta P E, okay? And the work done by the electric field is um, the negative five five zero, okay? Negative delta P E. Okay, so the negative will make this positive. So the P E will be point five five zero. Okay. There was an increase in potential energy. Okay. Um, let me see if I can connect the thing we know, which is the um, potential energy of like with the height, the mgh. Okay. So as we take the object um, higher, the um, the the gravity will do a negative force, which is the same as the electric field, but it's moving against the well against the um, where the where this um, object is moving so it's moving up and the force is pointing down force of gravity that's why it's negative work but the potential energy is positive because it gained it gained energy right and the um, what it gained is mgh okay all right let's go to number four now number four is asking, suppose you cut the string, this um, non-conducting string, um, what is the magnitude of the acceleration? Okay, so we know we all know that the force is equal to ma. So what is the force here? The force here is like Coulomb force. So k, q1, q2 divided by r squared. Okay, it's the force not the energy, potential energy, okay, which is only over R, so which is equal to, and the, f the number four is asking about sphere A, so we'll use MA, and I said it's one here, M1 times the A1, okay? So let's just go through calculation. We have everything here, all right? So we're just finding the A here. So the A will be K, Q1, Q2, divided by r squared m1 okay so for number number five um, they want the acceleration we'll do the same thing here but we'll do um, k q1 q2 over r squared will be equal to m2 b2 uh, why would you use the same force because the force here is the same but in just like opposite direction okay right um, Newton's third law yeah all right um, number six number six um, after a very long time what is the magnitude of the velocity of the sphere a okay all right so we'll use the um, the energy here so when we leave each one, each one will go in a different direction, right? And each one will have a different velocity, depends on the mass. So we, here we're actually using the momentum, okay? So what was the... The momentum is always conserved, right? So what is the momentum? Momentum initial, okay? So PI will be equal to P, initial, P final. So what is pi? pi is gonna be well both of them are was not moving oh shit you can't see anything so both of them were not moving so p initial will be zero okay and then the p final each one went different directions so m1 v1 minus m2 v2 is equal to zero so taking the other one on the other side, we'll get m2, v2, all right, cool. So this is the first equation. We have two unknowns here, okay? So what is the other equation? Well, the other equation will use the potential energy and kinetic energy. So the potential energy, so u initial plus k initial will be equal to um, p e initial, no, p e final, 
let's use u, u final plus k final. Okay, so what is u final, u initial? u initial is the value we got here, right? 0 0.550 and kinetic energy, both of them were not moving, so it's going to be zero. E equal to the u final, they said the um, after a very long time, which means that like 99.9% .9 is all kinetic energy, okay? Because the potential energy is the um, kq q divided by r, so after a very long time we'll assume that r is almost infinity, yeah, so it's going to be like equal to zero. So k final will be equal to half m1 v1 squared plus half m2 v2 squared, okay? All right, so now you have two equations, multiplying this by two, will be equal to m1 v1 squared plus m2 v2 squared, okay? So here we have two equations. This is one, and this is two. All right, so just use the substitution. I use substitution like the V1 will be equal to M2 V2 divided by M1, and substitute this V1 into here, and squared it, and just do some um, math. It's a math work, okay? So your, your final equation should look like um, for V2 here, in this case, will be equal to square root of the um, 2 times the what you got, um, 2 times what you got from here, which is the, the answer from number 3, number 3, divided by the um, this this is how we're gonna look like um, m2 squared divided by m1 plus m2. Okay, the whole thing is square um, square root. Okay, and then once you find v2, just substitute it back in this equation, and then you. I hope you'll get the right answer. Alright, hope this helped guys, wish me luck for the final, bye.